Scorpio, welcome back to Shacy Tarot. For those of you returning, for those of you brand new, welcome to our channel. Get your energy in here with us. Smash the like button, hit subscribe. That'd be absolutely fantastic. Helps others to hear these messages. And if they're help you, then we definitely need to help others. Let's get started. Um, definitely, you know, the more you hit that like button, the more I can bring these bonus videos to you, right? For Scorpio, because... Well, I appreciate all of you. I am a Scorpio for those of you that are brand new. Let's see what's going on. We're doing past, present, future first. And then we're going to go ahead and get your energy here, whoever you're dealing with here. And we're going to get mutual energies between you and your person using the other deck. Now, when I say you and your person, this could be anybody for you. It could be a friend, a love interest, a crush, a significant other, somebody from your past, um, somebody coming towards you in your future. But that's why we're getting your overall energy here as well for past, present, and future. Okay, let's see what's going on. We're all anxious. I know I am for sure. Okay, let's check it out. Scorpio. Oh, wow. Okay, it's it's somebody wants to take the action, Scorpio. Uh, you could be dealing with a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, or a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo here. Interesting. Okay, so it's like I have a lot of things to do here. I'm excited. I'm getting things done. I'm taking the action here. Um, your go-getter, your leader of your own life here. It's like I've been waiting. I want the action. I'm ready to take the action. I think I've put enough effort in. I feel like somebody's kind of taking stock of whatever effort you've put in. Now, this could be your job, your career. I've put a lot of effort in. You're waiting for it to pay off, maybe financially here for you. Um, you could be a leader or CEO of a company, a business, okay? And it's like you're just ready to go or you're dealing again with somebody that's wanting to take action towards you, you know, and they're kind of wondering if they've waited long enough here, enough here that's in the recent past or that again, that's you taking on, you know, leader qualities, Scorpio, which is something we definitely do. So this could be you, you know, maybe you're waiting for somebody to take the action. <laughs> present moment oh wow Scorpio this is beautiful we go from waiting to putting the effort in it's like yes it's like I'm done waiting okay I want to take the action here I'm excited there's a new beginning here it's something sparking now this definitely could be a new business it's you're creating something new if you're single you're creating something new and you're very excited about it okay it's like you want to take the action here uh, for some of you it can absolutely involve dealing with somebody from your childhood um, or your children here for some of you I don't know why I'm getting this but some of you I'm getting that you might be putting a daycare together um, that of course is for a very selected few of you but maybe you're involved with children somehow and you're starting a new business and you're super stoked about it for others of you this is somebody um, returning from your past here or somebody that you have a soulmate connection with here it's like I feel like I want to take the action here I'm excited I'm ready to put that effort in here I'm ready to step forward and I have a new beginning and it's like wow so Scorpio, let me know how this resonates for you. And again, for others of you that are single, this is you starting a new business. You're taking on the lead here. You're taking ownership of it. Things are taking off here. You're putting a lot of work in. It's starting to pay off for you. It looks fantastic. Okay, in the near future. Ooh, the plot is thickening. There you are, Scorpio, in your own reading. So you could be dealing with another water sign here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Very nice. Wow. There's some good news coming in for you. It's something exciting. It's a new beginning. Um, wow. There's a deep connection here, Scorpio. This is either a partnership again in business here. For some of you here, this is a partnership in business. You're putting something together. You're working really hard and it's starting to pay off. It looks fantastic. For others of you, this is a deep connection, a soulmate, a twin flame here. It could be a soulmate for some of you, twin flame for others of you here. There, there is a very deep connection and it's like there's this news coming in towards you that I feel is going to make you very happy. Um, it's, it's something exciting. It's, it's a spark. It's like the fire is going to be lit here. Woo. The fire is going to be lit here. Uh-huh. We've got the ace of wands, page of wands, queen of wands, queen of cups. It's like, I'm ready to take the action. There's deep connection or Scorpio. You are so ready for a deep connection, some action, some fun, some love, um, a deep partnership here. You are ready for that connection here. Um, you're waiting for it for some of you. Okay. You feel like you've put a lot of effort into yourself here. So so that could go, I can see different ways of this happening. So let's go ahead and get your energy here. But first, ooh, I want to pull some fortune guidance cards. We're going to pull three. So we're going to do pick a card. So you meant again to hear all three messages, but the first one you choose is your strongest. 
And your second, your second, and your third, your third. Let's see what's going on. Now in the extended, I'm gonna do things a little bit differently for those of you returning, okay? I'm gonna pull the angel answer card. So if you have a question for spirit, we're gonna do pick a card with spirit on these. So you can go ahead and ask your questions in the extended. So for those of you that are brand new, I always extend your reading down below in the comment section. There will be a link pinned there if you wanna check it out, okay? Let's get your energy here and stay tubed because I'm gonna get your person's energy here again. The mutual energy is using our Shacy Prism Tarot. And we're also gonna dig deeper using uh, the Tarot um, Tarot of Dreams deck here. And in the extended, I'll use the Neo Rider deck. These are from our lucky, beautiful friend Usagi here, who was so kind to donate those to the channel. We're gonna get the Flaming Roses Confessions, pick a card. So stay tuned here, don't go away. We're gonna dig a lot deeper here, okay? Some we'll do in the extended and some we're gonna do right now. So let's see what's going on. And I will dig into April here and in the extended, I'll be mostly focusing on May. We always like to sneak peak one month in advance because we're Scorpio. We like to know in advance, don't we? We don't like surprises. Well, we do, but we don't. We like to know. <laughs> we like to dig. What can we say, right? Scorpio. This looks amazing, Scorpio. Ooh, let's hope this happens. Okay. Wow. Four of Cups. It's like, I'm, I'm kind of bored. I'm discontent. I, I have uh, other opportunities here, but it's kind of like, mm -mm, no. Um, Scorpio, for some of you, you could be in kind of this negative mindset right now. You're discontent. You're wanting something more. Um, you know, it, it's you're missing opportunities possibly that are around you here because you're just you're not into it. Um, that's what I'm seeing for some of you. Or this definitely can play from whoever's perspective is watching. So remember that it can play from a cross watcher's perspective. Yeah, it's kind of like I'm undecided. I don't know which direction to go here. I'm I'm not happy. I'm discontent. What should I do here? It's You may be blocking yourself off to other opportunities right now. You're just not interested here. Or you're just not liking what's coming towards you here. That can be business. That can be love. It can be all kinds of things. You're just like, no, mm-mm. But I also feel like you kind of don't know what's going on, so that's why you're not picking a direction either. You're just kind of indecisive right now, or your person is, whoever you're thinking about, okay? Yeah, so Spirit's asking you to have patience here. <laughs> I know, I can hear it now. <laughs> Uh, what's that? <laughs> what's, what's patience? Temperance is major arcana. So for those of you that, that are brand new, um, could be dealing with a Sagittarius here um, or an Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, but temperance is all about maintaining your balance here, okay? Spirit is saying divine timing is at play here. Your angels are watching over you. You're being angelically guided. So pay attention to signs or anything that happens to you here because definitely you're being watched over and it's about you know having patience and self-control here and balancing yourself here um, because I feel like you're kind of a bit closed off here maybe you're blocking and protecting your heart here you're just you're kind of like disinterested right now but yet oh, Scorpio <laughs> in your gentle energy this is amazing there's something beautiful coming in towards you here you have a very deep connection coming here it's like a partnership here. Again, either business or love, depending who you are. I can see both directions here. Yeah, it's kind of like, I'm waiting. Hello, I'm standing here, I'm waiting. But this is also like, you've put effort in, you've already made a decision and a choice. Now you're just waiting for everything to be happening here. You're, you're patient. Um, you're not happy where you are. You're ready to kind of move forward here. Now that could be you or your person here. It's like, I'm, I'm tired of this. It's like, you know, I'm blocking myself off to everybody else. I'm being patient. I'm just waiting to take these new opportunities to go for it. And it can be because of the current circumstances that you or your person, um, you know, what we're going all through right now in the world. It definitely can be. Let's see what's going on. Oh, no, let's pull the fortune cards first. Are you ready? Yeah, first one. Broom, new home, new attitude. Ooh, I like it. Scorpio, some of you may be getting a new home or moving or relocation or buying a home, whatever the case may be. Very nice, okay? New beginning. So maybe you're doing so awesome that you're able to purchase your own home for some of you or your first home. Um, or you have a partnership here to where you're buying, again, possibly a new business um, that allows you to buy a new home. You're all going to be different. Look at that. Ooh, I love that. Peace and harmony. Hello. A Scorpio's love, our peace and harmony. That's all we want, isn't it? Yes. Beautiful. Love it. Next message. 
cracked cup, dissatisfaction with life. What was I saying? It's like, okay, can the ship start docking up already? Let's get going here. That's what I'm hearing, Scorpio. Yeah, I know we're impatient. So, you know, I feel like definitely some of us are dissatisfied. Um, we're just, we're very anxious, right? Because we're go-getters. So I definitely feel like you could be taking on the Queen of Wands energy here, ready for that new start, that deep partnership here. Um, and for some of you, that's exactly what's coming in here for you okay but meanwhile it's kind of like would you hurry up <laughs> I can hear it now let's get your person's energy whoever you might be dealing with I do want to say it can crisscross over be all of your energy or all of theirs again you're going to be different so check your moon rising Venus signs for those of you that know your other placements um, I have the playlist there for those of you that are brand new you can definitely check them out and for those of you that aren't aware yet I did a divine masculine reading and a divine feminine reading check that out as well if you wish to do that in the playlist I'm going to start doing that I think once a week you know depending time permitting because I have a lot of personal readings to catch up on as well I just caught up on those so if you want a personal reading you can definitely hit me up at shacy.com all right, let's see what's going on. Because you know those are more geared towards your energy. What's going on with Scorpio's person of interest, angels and spirits? What do we need to know for our highest good with whoever we're dealing with? What are the messages? Who and what is coming towards Scorpio? What are their intentions for April 2021? Oh, boy. Oh, my. Okay. Scorpio. Somebody's making a heartbreaking decision here. Your person's making a heartbreaking decision here. There's that partnership again. Wow. Oh, wow. This is, this is a double-edged sword. Scorpio. Somebody's making a very heartbreaking decision here. Okay. Um, there's brand new love coming in for you here. It's something exciting here. There's a new opportunity. Ace of Cups, keep in mind, that can be self-love. Maybe you've decided just to, again, go after what it is your hopes, dreams, and wishes are because you're bored, you're discontent, you're fed up here. You're getting impatient. You've been waiting here. Um, you're putting in a lot of effort and maybe you've decided to move forward here and in comes new love, a new opportunity, a new partnership, whatever this is for you. Um, it's been a heartbreaking decision here. Um, th when the lovers comes up, it's sometimes a choice between two things, okay? Um, it's a direction that you need to pick here, especially with the three of wands. It can indicate there is distance here, but it's also about timing with temperance. Um, so I, I feel like you're going to have a choice to make here or again if this is your person's energy they're making a choice here either way it's a very heartbreaking choice here to it's like i've made this this choice i'm ready to move forward i'm ready to take the action i'm excited about these new opportunities here um so that could be between you and them or they're making a heartbreaking choice and coming towards you with the knight of wands over here it's it's kind of like I'm ready to take that action. So that definitely could be you or your person's energy. I'm picking up in the general here, okay? So either you're taking action towards yourself to, again, fulfill your own opportunities, your own self-love, your own direction here, looking for that deep connection here because you're tired of waiting, or this is your person. They're tired of waiting. They feel like they've put enough effort and, and they've had to make a heartbreaking decision here maybe to, um, to come forward and, and come towards you here. We're going to keep going. It's like I've had to sever some ties. Somebody's having to sever some ties here that's been a very painful decision here. Okay, so you could be coming into a new partnership here and having a new home with somebody, Scorpio, is what I'm kind of getting here. Because it's like I'm dissatisfied. I'm ready to move forward. So that's you or your person here. Let's keep going. We'll get the mutual energies anyways. But that all definitely wanted to come out flying at once. So let's see what's going on. Ace of Cups. I'll clarify these as well in the extended. Whatever is left here is jumped out all at once. I'll clarify. Okay. Whew, Scorpio. Heavy duty. Clarify lovers here please for Scorpio's person of interest for April 2021. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Scorpio, the Ace of Swords. Yeah, this is the sword of truth, the sword of victory, the sword of clarity, a breakthrough, an epiphany. It's also the sword we use to have to sever the ties, making a head over heart decision because although emotional, we're doing what we feel is best for us. We're making um, sometimes a head over heart, sometimes a heart over head. Um, it's kind of like we're trying to make a, da a balanced decision between both things. We're trying to be patient. Okay, so I feel like somebody's definitely here i feel this is your person 
making a decision here to cut ties that have been very painful for your person but also necessary okay because uh, for whatever reason here it's like there's a certain amount of dissatisfaction here going on on both of your sides here okay it's like a choice had to be made there though because there is this deep connection here because there is a new beginning when a new big be be beginning comes about you know the ace of cups the ace of swords we have the ace of wands that's really significant that is huge especially with temperance here this means that and the two of cups that means that there's a very deep connection here that spirit is watching over it's a divine connection meaning that you are meant to come together with this person okay whoever that is for you now or in the future this could be somebody brand new Okay, either you made a heartbreaking decision to sever ties and you're on your new path here and you're going to meet somebody or this is your person severing ties coming towards you. Either way, it's a divine partnership here. This is meant to come in for you. It's new opportunity. It's happiness. It's love. It's satisfaction. It's truth. It's clear. It's a breakthrough. And it's like, I'm ready to take the action. I feel like I've put enough effort in now. I want to put in more work here is what I'm hearing. I want to put more effort in. I want to take the action now. Clarify the Ace of Cups for Scorpio's person of interest. Clarify the Ace of Cups. Why is it here for Scorpio? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for April 2021. Clarify the Ace of Cups for Scorpio. Ooh. Wow. Scorpio, there you are. Whew. Okay, so there is this beautiful new love coming towards you here. This is transition. This is a new beginning. This is let go of whatever happened in the past and let's start over. Let's have a new beginning here. Let's transform. You have something brand new coming in and we're ending whatever has been um, causing uh, issues here. Okay, we're severing and getting, um, deleting in our life, whatever isn't working. And just as I say that, the world card shows up. So for those of you that are under where the world card signifies completion, meaning that all the lessons that were meant to be learned in a prior life, a prior situation, a prior relationship is done. This means that we've completed everything that we can. There's no more growth in this prior relationship or this prior life or partnership and it's time now to have a new beginning here this can also represent that you know um, a relationship is transforming okay we're closing out the old we're transforming our relationship it's we're ready to put that effort in now okay so this can also indicate travel as well you could be dealing with a leo taurus scorpio or an aquarius here mm -hmm. or another scorpio gemini sagittarius we have everybody here, but let's get the mutual energies. What's going on for Scorpio and their person of interest? This is awesome because although something very painful is ending and it's been a tough decision with the world card here, again, the lover's card, the death card, just know those are all major arcanas, two of cups. That signifies that this was all meant to happen here. Okay, somebody's gained the clarity that one door is closing now. It's time to open a new door. There's no more growth there. And Spirit's trying to bring a very deep connection or partnership together here for you. Now or in the future. Either, again, somebody you already know or somebody brand new here. I mean, <laughs> the Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands, and the Ace of Swords. That's beautiful. So somebody's making a painful decision to sever ties here that are necessary to sever in order to experience growth and in order to follow their divine connection, um, their divine guidance here, Scorpio. So let's see what's going on mutually here. For Scorpio and their person of interest, what are their hopes, dreams, wishes, fears, any blockages between Scorpio and whomever they're dealing with, please? Angels and spirits for April 2021. What are the messages us Scorpios need to hear for highest good? There you go, water energy here. So there's a lot of emotions going on right now, very deeply here. Um, and there would be with the Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands. It's kind of like there's a lot of passion, a lot of love here, a lot of deep connection here. But there's also a lot of, um, you know, um, blockages, pain. You know, it, it's it's been painful um, because this is a huge, massive shift here. Okay, it's it's a massive change here. It's it's your whole life is is going to change here. See something brand new, fertility, birth here. Okay, new love. Final decision. Somebody's making a final decision here. 
again, two to three of wands here. Coming out of indecision to making a decision. I know I have to make a decision. I'm becoming clear on what that decision is. I don't like it because I'm going to have to sever ties or break some hearts here. But it's also, this is my path. This is where I'm meant to go. This is what I'm meant to do or who I'm meant to be with here. So again, it's closing one door, opening another. But it's all over your reading here. Major arcana signifies major occurrences in your life that are meant to happen. We learn these lessons. We move forward here. But it's to bring something beautiful together that is meant to happen here. Um, an assessment judgment can be a new phase in the relationship. Like I said, Ace of Cups death, it's like we're transforming here. We're, we're closing one door, we're opening another. We're transforming a relationship here because I feel like this is bringing a new phase into an existing relationship here. Okay, can be reconciliation with someone from your past. We do have the Six of Cups here. Or again, this is you making a final decision here and it's going to bring in a brand new, uh, very deep partnership for you here. Either, again, for yourself in your own partnership, like you're, you're going to meet somebody later on, could be in business, or this is somebody you already know. Wow, deep Scorpio. This is very good. Expect some beautiful things happening here. Okay, yeah. So you're, you and your person here, whoever that is for you, you're very, very focused on long-term goals here. Retirement here. Being settled, being comfortable here is what I'm getting here. And expect some communication here. Something exciting coming in for you, okay? This is fantastic, Scorpio. I love this for us. Yes, I do. Okay, let's go ahead. Um, you know, us Scorpios are used to transforming. We're used to changes. So for us, it's kind of like, okay, you know, if this is what's meant to happen. We just accept it. But not everybody can do that. But from what I'm seeing here, this is excitement. It's kind of like there, there is some, some pain attached to it. There's a painful decision, but there's also a lot of excitement about the newness, the beautifulness of it as well. Um, and as you know, we all know that this is something that's meant to happen here, that we more readily accept it as Scorpios here. But not everybody can transform that way. Okay, so let's go ahead and get the messages. These already flew out, Scorpio. I got to take them all. I got to take them all because they came flying out. Okay, so they were definitely meant for us. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. I'll pour, oh my gosh, another one, seriously? Okay, well, it came out, so what, what can I do? Now, for those of you that are brand new as well, I pulled the Tarot Sexual Magic in the extended. I'm also gonna pull the Island Time Wellness. We are gonna dig so much deeper. I'm gonna pull, again, um, the Tarot of Dreams, the Neo Rider, if I get a chance, and I'm gonna pull the Leo Norman deck. These are not Tarot, but very deep messages. So let's go ahead and see what's going on. I have other things on my mind other than you. So your person wants you to know, or this is you, I'm concentrating on other things at this time here. Okay, that could be work, it could be a partnership, a business project here, it can be there's distance here, um, it can be I'm focused on my education or retirement here, or I'm closing one door to open up another, it's been painful, you know, all those kinds of things. This could be you, Scorpio, or them. I can't stop thinking about the times we once shared. So for some of you, you know, um, you've made a painful decision or they have to close this door or you both have in order to start brand new and then you're going to meet somebody brand new. I keep reading our old text messages. So somebody's having a lot of memories of you and them and rereading past messages, maybe looking at pictures, different things here are reminding them of you and you changed up and that triggers me. This has been coming out a lot. So there's a lot of triggers going on right now for people. Memories coming back. It's, it's like reminiscing here and we have the six of cups here. So, um, you know, there's a very deep connection here and somebody, uh, I feel like they're going to take the action here, Scorpio, because they have been reminiscing. But for others of you, you're severing ties or they're severing ties and you're going to meet somebody thereafter. Okay, so it's going to resonate each differently for you, right? I'll always remember you are unforgettable. So this is kind of like you're never going to forget each other here because there's too many memories here um, that that keep coming back. It's like a haunting memory that just keeps on giving, Scorpio, what can we say? But it's, um, yeah, I'm mostly seeing it. There's, there's a new beginning coming here, Scorpio, and it looks amazing. I just have other responsibilities to take care of. So your person wants you to know, or you want them to know, I have a lot of things on my plate right now that I need to take care of here, but know that I think about you because I keep reading our old messages here. Um, but it's like, 
your memories are haunting me. I get this haunting feeling going on uh, between you and them here because somebody here is is really discontent. It's like I'm looking toward the future here. I'm trying to be patient here, but I'm also like kind of blinded to what's going on. I'm kind of ignoring it right now, you know, um, and again, it can because there's distance or timing going on here. So, but Scorpio, again, that you can flip this, right? This could be your energy and their energy, but there's something beautiful coming in. I'm telling you what, three aces here. The two of cups, the ace of cups, the ace of swords, the ace of wands, the six of cups. There is a beautiful partnership. So one door's closing, one door's opening here, and it looks amazing. Let's find out where we're going from here. I'll do more for the general energy in the extended as well as we're going to clarify here. The death card, three of swords, the world card. Okay, um, I'm going to clarify the three of wands. We're going to keep digging here. We're going to find out messages from the angel answers. You'll get to ask spirit question. I'll do um, pick a card here. You can pick your answer and we'll see what's going on. Okay, and we'll focus on May. So thank you for being here. Thank you for all of your continued support. It means the world to my girls and I. Again, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe. It's absolutely free. Hit the notification bell if you're brand new and you want to be notified of further readings. I thank you so much for being here. Stay happy, healthy, and safe. And most of all, positive because that's half the battle. I appreciate you all so very much. Lots of love and light. Namaste. Don't forget the link down below for those of you brand new for the extended. Okay? Namaste.